Well, Tim will taking its lunchtime break, but we had this morning this major statement from the Chief Minister. I mean, it was incredible where we're at now, uh, Ms. Edge, because uh, you're a member of Coman, and we, we, I know we've got so much stuff we can't talk about, but I'd like to go back to whistleblowing, because you can identify with that, because you were the one who was really pushing for this when you, uh, you know, in a previous life, should we say. Um, what do you make of what you hear? Um, I was really pleased with the Chief Minister's statement and obviously I'm speaking mostly with regards to my role as Chair of the Whistleblown Committee mm -hmm. today. Um, however, I think it's a perfect opportunity to pick up the recommendations from that report. The Chief Minister said that today and make sure we move forward and I think it, you know, I'm pleased to be in the Council of Ministers to be able to help make sure that any of those recommendations are brought forward and, and that we see some action now. So it kind of got pushed into long grass, would you say, and now suddenly it's back on the agenda? Um, no, certainly. Obviously, we reported in December 2020, and then obviously, as we all know, we've had COVID since. So, um, you know, it is right that um, this has picked up. Um, there's been a number of whistleblown cases. It's, um, and, um, you know, it is about culture. Um, however, there are some things that need to change um, with, res with regards to legislation and they need to be prioritised and make sure that um, whistleblowers are seen for, because it's, I know it's very difficult for them to come forward in the first place, but um, obviously one of the members today, I'm not sure who, who it was, but it's, it's about them coming forward and being able to continue with it and um, you know this is about people and I think what the Chief Minister's announced today um, and the changes that will come in place are right um, you know and we need to move on and and get mm. the culture and the organisation correct and you know I'm really pleased to see that the government code's going to be looked at mm -hmm. um, I have raised a few c concerns about that in the past um, and everybody working in government or in Timwald need to understand there is a government code and behaviours within that government code. Uh, the, the code's there for a purpose and we all need to adhere to it and all be professionals and many of us are previous professionals, in, you know, professionals in our previous life but it's great there's a good mix in Timwald but everybody needs to be aware of um, the processes and policies of government and you know we need to make sure the induction process covers that I know certainly that has come in in place with from the clerk's office since 2016 and that helps but it's also induction within to working for the public sector which I was really proud to get a job working for the public sector when I got mine um, many years ago um, you know and obviously I, I was nearly 38 years working in the public sector um, prior to being elected and it was a proud organisation to work for and we've got many real hard working people mm. that want to work for that proud organisation and provide a service to the people of the island. Yeah. Now, I know you're limited what you can say about anything that's going on, I and mean, obviously it's an ongoing live case, but for a small island, to have so many people that have to sort of break ranks to try and make their point be heard, it, it it's can't be playing well, can it? Um, certainly, I think, you know, it's the people that have spoken up. Um, we, you know, I think, I think it was the Chief Minister mentioned that, you know, we need to look at that and review, it might have been the Speaker. Mm. Um, I, I think it's, you know, it is down to that induction, the, the calibre of individuals um, employed and the ongoing training. You know, there used to be fantastic training opportunities when you worked for the government. Um, I, I'm sure there are some there now, but um, whether it's as it was, you know, when I came in, but and certainly it was a very stringent process and that's why you were proud to work for the service. Mm. Now you are inside this magical home in, you presumably got much more influence on how this proceeds, right? I mean, is the backing there? Is the will there, do you think? There's certainly, you know, I think um, everybody's on board um, to help support what the Chief Minister has said in his statement today, and we need to make it happen. And I think that is key. The Chief Minister said he will come back uh, within the month on the review of OHR and the way forward. Um, it's action that speaks louder than words with this one. But certainly, the Chief Minister was saying we, this is... A turning point, I think, would it be fair to say that things have really now got to be addressed? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, and nobody, 
as many people are aware of this, I was going to be a whistleblower before I become an MHK, um, and you know I, I've I've made that known, um, and I was very fortunate to understand that I could either go down the whistleblowing route or I could try and get into the House of Keys and make significant change. I achieved that in 2016. I'm so pleased to be able to work alongside the Chief Minister and what he's announced today to make sure that this does move forward. And um, fantastic officers working all around government and, you know, and the public sector and our, our front line workers. And we need to have um, a system in place that they feel that they can come forward and raise concerns without any course of action that um, perhaps is not in favour of the individual. But it is a position of last resort. Will it still be that if there's no other way to go forward or, or should it be more easy uh, an option to, to go for? I, I think when I set out um, doing my whistleblowing it was to to have a system in place but I would hope we didn't get to that stage because there's many stages in a process before that mm -hmm. and I think that's key that's what we need to make sure we change for the future. And, and back to this finally you're confident now that you are so much more involved that this will see the light of day and will not be pushed into longer asking. I'm certainly keen to make sure it happens um, I've always made sure what I've committed to that I find a solution and move forward and that's certainly what I aim to do with the rest of the council and ministers that we can get this moving forward faster.